Hey guys, while in Coromandel, we decided to do something different one day and head out to Cuvia Island. Cuvia is a small, uninhabited island, eight nautical miles north of Great Mercury. Due to the deep water surrounding it, it can be a good place to find different fish species. We started the day by anchoring in a shallow bay, hoping to find some snapper. Quite quickly, I find this granddaddy harpooker, also known as a scorpion fish. They usually hide out in the entrance to caves and cracks, but this one was sitting out in the open in a couple of metres of water. They're quite good to eat if you can be bothered filleting them, so I decided to take it for dinner. We have a look around for some crayfish before we leave the shallows. Dan finds a couple, the second of which has a soft shell, which are illegal to take here in New Zealand, so he lets it go. Dan sets a burly and gets a couple of snapper. Unfortunately at this time we were having trouble with our GoPros and SD cards, so he only manages to film one of the snappers that he shoots. The deeper we go, the dirtier the fizz gets. There are a couple of pink Mau Mau hanging around, but due to the voluntary Rahui on pink Mau Mau and Coromandel, we just watch them. On one of Dan's deeper dives, he found this cool paper nautilus shell on the bottom. Paper nautilus are pelagic octopus. They're called paper nautilus because of the paper thin shell that the female excretes. Sadly, this one's a bit broken, so Dan leaves it down there. When we get out a bit deeper, we find a school of kingfish. We get a shot in, but after a bit of a fight, the spear pulls through. We see some more kingfish after this, but seeing as we've already shot and lost one, that's ours for the day, so we don't shoot anymore.
On our way home, we stop in at Great Mercury Island. We jump in on a weed line and are happy to see a turtle, a very cool species to find in New Zealand waters. On one of Dan's dives, he sees a boarfish in the distance, but it's right at the end of his dive and it won't come into him. So he points it out to me, and I dive down right on top of it and get it. Unfortunately, in my haste, my GoPro wasn't running. With a couple of fish on board, we call it a day and head home. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.